Do you ever get tired of using the hand building process in Planet Coaster? It is time consuming, it is frustrating, and it is agonizing. What if I told you that you could skip that step altogether now? What if you could import roller coasters from No Limits to Planet Coaster? Well, you don't have to ask what if anymore, because this program does just that. It takes a node-based system and transfers it into a Planet Coaster roll system. So, want to see how it's done? Watch the rest of the video to find out. But before we get to that, only a small percentage of you guys that watch my videos are actually subscribing. So if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. Thank you. Now back to the video. So the first thing that we're going to need is this zip file, the NL2PC zip file. And the way to get this is by joining my Discord server, which is in the description below. You can click that and there is a mods area that I have or just like download area that I have where you can click a bunch of links and stuff. <laughs> and one of them is this. Also, another way is by joining the Coaster Sim Society, which has the exact same thing, but it's in community assets, so it's a big melange of a bunch of cool things that you can get. So both work, but I do want to point out this guy right here, Tom, as he's called right now in Discord. Um, he is the one who created this program. So no credit goes to me, all credit goes to Tom. So thank you, Tom. So back at the zip file, we can take a look what's in it. So right off the bat, we can see there's a Windows version and a Mac version. I will not be covering Mac. So I'm um, sorry, but I am not a Mac person, so I'm not going to be able to help you all with that. It's pretty self-explanatory, though. You probably can just go in. Yeah, here's the program that you're going to use. Um, so just download it like normal and maybe try to figure out yourself. Everything else should apply, though. Everything else that applies to the Windows should apply to the Mac. Also, okay, so Windows, we can open this and we can see we have the program here. We have a data here and we have the Unity player and we also have a readme file right here that's going to be very important if you don't understand anything about this tutorial you can always just go to the readme file which is in this zip so speaking of zip let's zip this thing let's let's download it and it's going to download all that i already have it downloaded and stuff so that's great normally i save it straight to my downloads folder and it's right here and then we're going to go right and extract everything. We're going to unzip it. And basically, if you don't know what that is, you literally just select this right here and extract all. Or you can open this and press extract all. And what's it going to do? It's going to ask you for a location. I always save it to my downloads. Um, I've already done that, as you can see right here. This is the unzip file, so we're going to open that. And this is a very important file right here that you're going to want to keep in mind, the NLVM file. This thing is basically what will take your No Limits coaster, do a bunch of math, and spit a bunch of numbers out, and basically encode this little message, or in numbers, what the banking, yaw, and pitch of your coaster, coaster is in No Limits. And to solve that kind of code, we have to use the NL2PC program, which will kind of do the opposite of that pro program and decrypt it basically allow you to copy the yaw, the pitch, and the roll that this program gives you into Planet Coaster, which will give you the coaster that you want in Planet Coaster. So this is the program that you're going to be using, and this is the file that you're going to want to remember. And this file we're actually going to script to a roller coaster in No Limits. Whichever one you created in No Limits, that's the file we're going to script to. And I'm going to explain that here in a minute in No Limits. Also, let me explain, there is also, I already said it, a readme file, which is a note, a notepad. And you can read through kind of all the instructions here too if you don't understand anything about the tutorial. I already said that, but it is kind of worth noting again that if you don't understand anything, it's literally right here. So yeah, let's actually just open No Limits real quick right here in Steam and we can jump to the next step. Okay, so here we are in No Limits. This is the title screen that you will see when you first open the game. We're actually just going to go straight in to here and select the tutorial file that I already have created. And this doesn't have to be exactly this. You can have your own coaster that you want. Um, but I already created something for this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. And it's going to do its thing. Now let's go to the editor. We're going to hit OK here and get rid of all that. And we're actually going to unfreeze this coaster first of all, um, which is just as simple as going to the coaster tab here and pressing unfreeze. 
Now we're gonna add a script to this thing. The way we do that is by going to Coaster Properties, scrolling over the scripts, uh, I'll remove that. And we're gonna add the script to it. So we're gonna press the add here. We're gonna select the class path um, and you can do the, I'll select the NL2 PC folder. Uh, um, it doesn't really matter from my perspective what you select, but it's fine. Uh, hit yes, whatever. And then we'll do script path here or script class and we'll select the distance s or distance csv exporter which is the file that you downloaded or earlier and that i was talking about um, so just find that wherever you stored it on your pc or mac whatever you are um, and then hit open and we should be good to go uh, click ok and it should be part of the scripts now you'll see it pull up here in this in this white box here which was empty before so it should be here we should can hit OK now. We can hit save, freeze. We'll have frozen this coaster. And by the way, just a little something. This coaster is nothing big at all. It's just this little uh, layout that I designed for the tutorial purpose. It is a very, very janky. Um, <laughs> I literally just kind of slapped it together in about five minutes. But um, yeah, just a little woody little as in the break run is super long for like zero reason whatsoever but okay um so yeah after that's done we can actually just go back into we're gonna leave the editor we can go back into yes save uh, play mode we can play here pause the game so now we're into some deeper stuff that you want to get into this is actually messing with that scripted file that we just put in. So right off the bat, you're going to notice that sometimes there'll be a message panel that pops up right here. And as you start going through the layout, you'll see it start spitting out a bunch of just codes and numbers and stuff. And that's good. That's the scripted file doing its job. What it's doing is kind of just copying all the numbers that our layout gave and just kind of just pasting it into the no limits file and i'll show you how to get there in a minute but it basically just copies the whole track in numbers and puts it down um so we're gonna ride through this whole light layout and some word advice as we're riding through it try not to pause the game or like leave your screen because what that will do is it will just slow our process in the future and you'll see what i'm talking about later but when you pause the game, it sends a message across the file, and then we have to delete that in the future. It just gets annoying. So try to not pause your game as much and just kind of let the thing do itself. So we're going to pause it here and ride through it. Oh my gosh. This is why you take time and create your coasters, because you'll crash it. But also, like I was saying before, you can see all these numbers that were just printed out because of the layout. So, and we're going to crawl back to the station here, and once it comes to a complete stop, right here, pause your game. Okay, so that's really all we need with no limits. So now we're going to go to our file system and use the Thing I'm about to give you so go to your just your local disk um, go to users this might be hidden you can uh, unhide it with the view options here show and then show your hidden items um, sometimes it is hidden so go to users go to your name which is right there and then go to app data I believe roaming and then no limits this one right here not the demo one if you had the demo and then we're going to open the no limits to log which is a notepad so if you don't have notepad which i believe it already comes in stored installed on your computer so you don't have to worry about that <laughs> but you can see how many times i've opened this so we're going to actually close this one okay so in this log you're going to start to see like all the code and stuff and then as you're scrolling down you're going to see bang all of these numbers right here and this, as you can see, is the distance CSV exporter. Um, and this is all the files and stuff that it gave you. And what I was talking about earlier about it's annoying when you pause and like view stuff. 
you could see that here because we don't need this stuff we just need the numbers like this and it kind of just gets in the way the less that you could pause the game and do all that it just saves time because we have to end up deleting this so what we're going to do is we're going to select the first row right here under this under this right here where it says copy below we're going to select this and just copy all of this all the way down until we get to the last line i'm actually not going to copy that pause right there we're going to copy this Control c or you can just right click and then copy and then we're going to open a new notepad which you can literally just go right right here and we're going to paste that in using Control v or just right click and paste and we should have all it in right here and so this is the same thing we just have a completely new dock yeah so then we can just go ahead and get rid of any unnecessary stuff like this startup and the ride view and the help and the pause we're gonna get rid of that get rid of the extra space we're gonna make sure there's no extra spaces at the top so we're gonna backspace here until there's zero spaces there we're gonna look through the whole log to make sure there's no like unnecessary pauses we're gonna get rid of any unnecessary spaces from the beginning just get rid of that we're gonna get rid of the startups the ride views and make sure there's no extra spaces because I've had errors with that before this is probably the most finicky part of the process get rid of the emergency stop there I don't know why that's there probably pressing buttons you just have to go through everything I'll make sure there really isn't anything in this increasing sim speed um, I pressed a lot of buttons on purpose just so you could see like how um, you don't really want to do any of this so the less buttons that you can press in no limits the less that it will show I'm just gonna continue looking there's another there's the decreasing I'm not to decrease everything so yeah basically you just delete everything and make sure that there are like zero empty spaces in between all that you're doing because it will be finicky and it will be annoying and so once you have everything uh, looking good there's no extra spaces at the top or even the bottom if there's an extra space at the bottom it will not work fully so we got that done now we're actually just going to save this off this file as whatever you want <laughs> i like how that's the name let's save it as tutorial tutorial and then right after your file name you need to do dot csv and that's going to save it as the csv file that you can use in the nl2 conversion program um, that's very important. It should automatically save it as a CSV file. If it doesn't, then you got something wrong. Um, but it, it should. So we're going to save this. I have it in my desktop right now because I can find stuff really easily there. You can save it wherever you want. It doesn't have to be in a specific place. As long as you can find it, it's good. So we'll save it. Then navigate to your NL2 uh, PC program. Windows release or Mac release, whichever one you're using. We're gonna open this, which should go and do all this stuff. Do the loading screen, and you will be greeted with this. And so we have a little timer here. We have the all pitch roll. We have previous track, show decimals, open track, next track. We want to open the track, of course. And you're gonna to want to select the SCV file that you just created, which we just did the tutorial. So we're gonna open that and bang. <laughs> I was like, wait, where to go? It's right here. So yeah, we have the station right here, which is the empty portion. I don't know if I did that wrong. I might have, but honestly, the station isn't important. It's got a yaw of zero, a pitch of zero, and a roll of zero. It's it's not that tough. Um, so you're going to actually start on the next piece of track, which is going to be right here. And as you can see, y'all, pitch, roll, and zero. So what are you going to do? You're going to literally copy and paste that into Planet Coaster. So go ahead and open Planet Coaster. Okay, so in Planet Coaster, I'm just going to scroll. Up. Okay, we're going to select the coaster we want, and I made it a wooden coaster. So we're going to, I'm going to scroll down to the uh, whatever monster. it and then 
go back to the NL2 program. And right off the bat, you can see we're going to be using these variables here to work. We're actually going to press show decimals. This will make all the numbers be more accurate. So you're going to want to show decimals. Um, obviously, this is the station part. So I don't know why the roll is here or, or even like the yaw. I can get behind the pitch, but maybe not the yaw and the roll, which is dumb. So some stuff like that, like when it's a straight piece of track, yes, obviously it's going to be like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the coordinates and numbers from this and just put it into a single piece in Planet Coaster. So in Planet Coaster, we can move the track length around a lot, which if you build out, out of a specific piece type, it will change the scaling of the ride. So I feel like my Woody here is a little bit, it's a little bit big. So what I want to do is I want to shrink it down. So I'm going to use a smaller piece like a probably a six foot piece here to work so that way I can smooth it even better <clears throat> I don't have to do a weird conversion process so we can see that for our first node here I'm gonna go to the NL2 program we got this we got basically zero for everything so I'm gonna complete that and now we're gonna go back to it and we're gonna press the next piece the pitch here is 0 0.28 and because this is a lift hill, we really don't really care about any of the other values. So we're actually, I might keep this piece actually straight again. This is the complicated part. And then we'll go back. Next piece, see now we're at a four. So I'll bump it up to a four. Okay, so for the lift hill, I'm actually doing this. I'm gonna place a standard track and we're gonna bump it up to that four. 17, but we're gonna get as close as we can because it's not gonna be exact. So 414 is pretty dang close to that 417. Uh, and if you've ever taken chemistry, you'll know that 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 last digit is a very small number, and it's not really gonna do anything. The first, even that first decimal point, really is not that big. So try, if you can match the first decimal point, that's good. But don't really care about the second second decimal uh, point there. So the NL2 program told us to do a 417. So I'm actually going to go to normal track here, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to do four as close as we can to 417, so we we can get to 414, which is pretty dang close. We don't really care about that last number there in the decimal. It is a very very small number and if you've taken chemistry you'll know that that's that's a pretty itty bitty small number you really only care about the first decimal point number here so if you can try to line that up um, and don't really even worry about the second decimal so we're actually gonna get it as close as we can 414 we're gonna select and we're gonna go back to the NL2 version 1291 I'll show you an easier way to do this too 1291 will do 1289 that's pretty close we're gonna keep using the normal track here even though we're going up 2523 as close as we can that's good enough once we hit our max angle we can switch to the lift hill again 3550 and you know what this lift hill is kind of driving me crazy so I'm gonna go to where we have a constant variable which is, I think, this number here. Oh, they're all moving. Okay. I choose a variable of 45 because that's the steepest that it gets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to immediately go back into it's We're actually going to do this piece and just go to 45 right off the bat. Go to our chain lift here. And then we're actually going to select these normal pieces of track and just smooth them out because there's still jankiness in the smoothing and everything in Planet Coaster. We're gonna smooth that out. We're gonna to get to the top of this lift hill. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is a heckin' steep woody lift hill. But you know what? I'm just following variables, so it's good. All right. So, like I mentioned, the way to make this easier is we can actually um, use split screen mode in Planet Coaster. Uh, we'll go into settings. 
and you can change it to windowed and then you can put the NL2 program like over it kind of like this and we are going to start the timer and the timer will start counting for us right here so we're gonna go boom and then the numbers will change down there 40 so we're gonna copy that bang 22 on the pitch we're gonna move it down to 22 ish you can also hit escape here to do the timer duration uh, depending on how fast you are I'm very slow so I'm gonna resume and then start it again 22 38 we'll get as close as we can that's pretty close wait for it to change again negative 0 0.67 You may notice how like weird and janky the lift hill is here. So you could use, be using the normal track again and then just smooth it when you're done. One of the most satisfying things is when you hit the number exactly. We're going to select the entire layout now that I'm done and all of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. We're going to one, two, three, four, five. Get all the kinks out, and now we're gonna go do the little back and forth thing. Boards. First smooth. On this, we really don't have to smooth that much. Because it was already pretty smooth with the input we were given. So, all the pieces were already pretty much very smooth. So we just kind of need to smooth out the little bumps and kinks and it should be good. So I'm just going to actually go through once just to see what it does. And then give this thing a right, obviously that's going to crash. But I am a little excited to see what goes on here. Let's get on it and make sure we're happy for the smoothest possible view. Okay. How is this? So yeah, so now this horrible wooden roller coaster is now in Planet Coaster when it was originally built in No Limits.
that's actually gonna be it for the video guys thanks for watching I hope y'all enjoyed I hope you since you can always leave a comment asking questions or even join my discord server which is in the description below that's also where you can find the link to the nl2 program and just a general question that you want to ask me so yeah feel free to join the discord server also i did not create the nl2 pc program that was actually created by distance which was made for the Planet Coaster Mod Hub, or it's not called that anymore, it's called the Coaster Sim Society. I'll link that below too, and y'all can check that server out for yourselves too. So I hope y'all enjoyed, I hope you learned a lot. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new videos, tutorials, updates that I post, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Keep on coastering.